If you are like me as a developer, you struggle with styling in CSS. You can never quite get things to look and feel the way you expect them to be. Or maybe you're trying to follow a design spec and you can't quite get things pixel perfect the way they have it written out in the design. But today, I think there is hope for developers like you and I, because Bolt.new has the capabilities of taking designs and spitting out the code for them. And if this is true, it's gonna be life-changing for us. So let's go give it a shot and see what it does. All right, so first off, we need some type of design in Figma that we wanna try and implement into code and get the CSS and HTML for it. So I went over to Figma. They have free website templates that you can check out. And just scrolling through here really quick, I wanna maybe implement like this one here, a report dashboard, analytics dashboard. So I'm gonna click on that. And then it's gonna let me open in Figma. I click on that, you sign into Figma and it brings you to the actual design in Figma here. So let's see if we can take this now, bring it over to Bolt and if it can implement it in HTML and CSS for us. So one of the ways you do that is you can right click, copy, paste as, and copy link selection. So now let's head on over to Bolt. All right, I'm over on the bolt.new website and there's this button here that we can click, import from Figma. We paste in, right, like I said before, right click on a frame, copy and paste as, copy link to selection. I'm gonna do that, paste it in, import Figma frame into Bolt. If this works, I'm gonna be like freaking out because so many years I have dealt with fumbling with CSS, trying different CSS frameworks and tools out there like Tailwind or uh, Bulma or, or all those out there to like simplify styling of websites for developers like me that struggle with this stuff. And this is gonna be a huge, huge advantage if this works out the way I'm hoping it does. But to give you a scenario of what has happened to me in the past, I've had the privilege of working at a company where we had a design team that would build out pixel perfect designs. And then they would hand that over to us on the development side of things and say, go ahead and implement that into the website that you're building. And they, you know, are good at designing, but they don't know how to convert that into HTML and CSS. And that was on us to figure out and do. And boy, did I struggle with that. When things actually got a little bit better there, I had an awesome experience when there was a designer that had some HTML and CSS skills. And so he would produce his designs in HTML and CSS so that we could just take it and plop it in the project and then wire up functionality into that. And that was amazing. And it sounds like this could potentially be a similar situation using Bolt. Generating code is done now. It's working on uploading assets. Where is it uploading these assets? I don't know. So it fetched the design from Figma, generated code based on that design. And now it seems like it's getting, it generated somehow assets like images maybe, or SVGs or whatever. And it's uploading that into Bolt so that we can use it in a running version of an application based on that design in Figma. No way. Okay, so now we're in Bolt. This is like the typical Bolt experience. It's NPM installing dependencies down here and then it should start the application. I've imported your Figma frame. You can start prompting now to add more features or improve the code. That's great. For instance, you could try making it responsive or adding more interactivity. We always want responsiveness, right? Especially if we're gonna support multiple platforms like mobile, desktop, that type of thing, right? Okay, here's the moment of truth. Flashbang. Is this it? Holy shnikes, Batman. This is pretty good. I'm impressed. Is any of this interactive yet though? I can't click on anything just yet, but the design is there. And now all I have to do as the developer is implement the functionality. No way. Let's look at the code. So we have SRC, we have components. What did, what did it use? Did it use React? Yes, okay, so it's using React. That's one thing to take note is that it defaults to React, but maybe if we wanted to use other front-end frameworks, we can have it switch to that possibly. As screens, okay. What's in the public? Oh my goodness. It created graph images. It didn't actually implement the graphs. Okay. There's SVGs. So I was right about that. It was creating these SVGs to use in the HTML and CSS. Now, is this the most efficient way to necessarily build out the design? That I don't know. I would lean on any of you that are watching this in the comments. Let us know if you feel like there are better ways to approach this type of design and implementing it. But for me, it's, it's a huge improvement than what I would have done. Also, check this out. It's pretty responsive. 
at least horizontally. This matches what was on there. So what's odd about this is it kind of went beyond what the design showed. I don't know what this like second page is below the fold. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, what happened then? It like implemented it multiple times. Okay, this is like the one that matches the design more closely. This third card, if you will. I'm, I'm going, I'm calling them cards because of like this little circular corner border radius going on here. So what I could do is I can now take this and cut out like the first two cards, if you will, and just jump down to this one here and bam, you're good to go. All right, let's do, let's try another design from Figma and see how well it can do with implementing that design too. Okay, I found one that caught my eye, a Steam redesign. All right, I'm gonna open this up in Figma, flashbang. So look, we can create the footer notifications. All right, so I'm gonna take this, the client store basically from the Steam app. We're gonna right click, copy, paste as, click copy link to selection, and then open that up in Bolt. All right, I'm back in Bolt. I click on import from Figma, paste in that, and let's give it a shot. All right, we're back. The code has been created. NPM has been installing dependencies. And here is the preview. <laughs> what? That's pretty, that's, I keep saying this. I know I sound like a broken record. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, take it back a little bit. What is with that? What's going on there? Again, you know, not ideal, but a much better starting place than a blank slate for someone like me, okay? I I'm still impressed with this. If I make it bigger, look at that. The image grows, but still leaving, I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, wow, yeah, see? When I make it bigger, it fills in more. This might be something with, with Bolt. In any case, what I can do in both of these examples is take the code now, index HTML, the source code, pull that, export it into, I can either download it, open it up in StackBlitz natively, or build it out and, and import it into my own project that I've already started and run with it. That is game changing for me. For someone like me and likely you, if you're watching this far, you know. CSS is is a struggle for us and uh and it's, look it's using Tailwind so even if we needed to tweak things and learn a little bit more about specifically with Tailwind in this case we can we can jump into that okay one last thing I want to ask this is if it can switch to other front-end frameworks because maybe I'm not using React maybe I'm using Vue or Svelte so I'm gonna ask Bolt to switch this to one of those frameworks all right let's see what it's what it's gonna do oh it's gonna convert it for me Gonna update the necessary files and dependencies. See it right in the code, real fast. It's going to app.view. Absolutely amazing. Uh oh, we got a, we got an error though. Failed to save project. You can download your project by clicking download button on top, so you don't lose any changes. Interesting. Did something happened there. It seems to still be like working on things. Yeah, it's right in code. Okay. I don't know what that error message was about. It was hidden behind my camera. Okay. It seemed to run into an issue when it tries to run the project after switching. Yeah, no preview available right now. So I'd probably have to debug that or manually run it. NPM run dev down here. No, there's an error with that. But look at that. Bolt picks it up and says it can try and help fixing it. Let's attempt to fix. Okay, some type of dynamic require issue. All right, so not exactly the smoothest transition from React to Vue.js, but you get the idea. It seems to be capable of getting you somewhat there in that situation. All right, I think you can tell what my conclusion is on this, but I'm curious what yours is. Are you gonna start using Bolt and Figma to implement these designs for you? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. But that does it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you got value out of it, be sure to like it down below and share with somebody who can put it to use. And if you made it this far, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and happy, safe coding, everyone.